All right, so here is my net trade income history after I became a full-time trader. Well, technically, on in the in the year of 2013-2014, uh, this is part-time still, right? I was still part-time. I was uh, working full-time, but at the same time, I was uh, trading part-time while I was losing here. So, in the uh, in the year of 2013, uh, I lost uh, 1,200. 12, $12,531, I lost it. So I lost, I blow up uh, blow up one account with the amount of uh, $10,000 and then I blow another one uh, with the uh, $5,000. So it was quite rough. It was quite rough uh, year. For the first year, uh, it was not really the smooth, uh, smooth uh, riding here. So it was a struggle. I was attending lots of seminars in the year of 2013, 2014, and I was uh, trying lots of other uh, strategies, indicators, and tools to use. I was running EAs and robots also, so I was trying all these things and also some uh, paid signals and paid uh, services or uh, like uh, indicators I was using. So in these two years, I had like six panels in front of me. I was watching like 20 some pairs all day long. I mean, after I came back home, I was looking at all these pairs all day long after that. And uh, yeah, so uh, it was quite difficult. And in, in the year of uh, 2013, I was scalping. I was doing scalping because uh, I thought that uh, it's more time efficient and I, I can see more, more chances in scalping. So because uh, I was working full time, so I had to do do the scalping. So that was my mindset at that time. So, and everybody else uh, on, on my workplace workplace was uh, doing also scalping too, and that's why I started to do a scalper. Started started to become a scalper in forex. But the whole time I never traded stock market. I only traded forex until now. And I'm studying stock market now, so that the, I can uh, shift and pro shift my portfolio uh, from short term to more mid to long term investments. So that's my next step. But so far, I have been taking trades only for forex pairs, only the major pairs, and I was actually gaining all these profits over the years. So, yeah, 2013 was quite rough year. I still still remember remember that the. Uh, I, I never know how many times I, I thought it, I have to quit because uh, I keep losing money, right? So, uh, but for some reason, uh, I was so fascinated and also I was very interested to, to the chart movement and also the psychology behind was quite interesting to me. I play the Japanese chess. I like to play the Japanese chess and also some uh, other uh, games I like to play. So. Uh, Forex was just like the chess to me, and it's still unchanged. Uh, to me, Forex is like a game, like a chess. So it's always interesting to see when, w at what level people are looking at, and what level people put the stop loss or target, uh, uh, take profit line. And uh, I I, li I like to see the market. So that's why that was a pure mo motivation for me. For the first uh, first one or two years, but uh, after yeah, so first one year I was losing, but I was keep learning. I was keep gaining more knowledge and uh, more strategies, but uh, I was not really focusing on the money management, and that was the thing. That's why I kept losing. I was only focusing on, for example, where to buy, where to sell, and where to take profit. I was constantly looking on, on, on these timings. I thought the answer is in those timings, but uh, from next year, from the third year in 2015, I started to apply some of the money management strategies also, and then uh, my, my uh, net profit uh, became stable uh, year to year. So that was a great shift. So yeah, people usually ask me, what made myself to change from negative to positive result? And my answer to that is to, uh, to uh, 
to study money management strategy. And when you, when you really master money management, then、uh, the psychology will follow. Psychology will follow. But if you only stick with the technical strategies, technical analysis, then、uh, you, you will never get to, to the stable、uh, profit over the year or monthly basis. Yeah, so、um, that is my shift here. And afterwards, I was,、uh, my forecast was how to grow more profit. So, after running some profit on in, the,、uh, in the year of、uh, 2015, my forecast became how to grow more profit, how to run more profit, how to extend the profit as much as possible, how to、uh, cut loss as soon as possible. And actually, that mindset shift was another、uh, big shift in myself. And as a result,、uh, the, the profit grew、uh, over years. So last year, 2019, my net profit was、uh, 22,、uh, 221,000 uh, US dollars worth. And I hope this year it's going to be better. But、uh, yeah, so that's, that's my rough、uh, overview of、uh, how I have been、uh, trading with these、uh, profits. So I'm thinking to add. The,、uh, the overall statement on this website on my profile page. So you will see that、uh, when I upload it. But this is just the numbers of the year、uh, towards the end of the year. So, yeah, I think this was a big jump、uh, from、uh, between 2014 to 2015, was the big shift in myself. Yeah, I not only started to Started to、um, simplify. Like I said yesterday,、uh, simplification is another important thing. But also,、um, I started to look at, I started to study about the money management strategy. And then、uh, I became profitable. And that's why I teach money management strategy in my GTS classes. Because this is more important in a sense than. The technical analysis here. right? You have to be able to control the lot sizing according to the market condition. right? You have to be able to adapt to the market condition that's changing over time, not only in terms of the technical analysis, but also in terms of money management and risk management. You have to be able to adapt to the changing market every time. So sometimes I go for、uh, 2% or 3%, but sometimes I go for 0.5% or 1% risk per trade. So, depending on the market condition, I change the risk per trade in terms, of, in terms of the lot sizing and also in terms of the stop loss distance in pips. I change it.、Um, so, this is another important、uh, and this is another uh, very uh, big discovery for myself、uh, when I started to become a Successful, I mean,、uh, stable, profitable trader here. And all these are actually、uh, based on my own experience. So、um, I have read some books. I think、uh, I have read many books, but、um, I, this、uh, money management strategy, especially, is something that I came up by my own. So、uh, by integrating all these knowledge. And wisdom all together from the books and websites and seminars. Yeah, and also I simplified it. I simplified my own money management strategy too, so that the,、uh, you know, it can be simple, but it can be also powerful at the same time. Just like I do the analysis based on Ichimoku, right? I can,、uh, I can talk about Ichimoku five lines, how it's been calculated, and how it's been moving up and down. And I can talk about the time cycles, wave analysis, price theories, and I can talk about equilibrium. I can talk about different time frames in Ichimoku or、uh, you know, other tools like Ichimoku, like nine week Kyushu Ashi Lex uh, uh, structure. I can talk about that. So I can add much, much many things about Ichimoku to analyze one currency pair, right? That's possible also. But I don't do that in this,、uh, in this public life because simplifying things is my own、uh, philosophy. 
So, yeah, I believe myself is that the, uh, I know a lot of things about Ichimoku because I have been studying Ichimoku from this original books. So, and I'm still learning it. I'm still learning it uh, right right now. I am preparing for the next book that is also be going to be available within the Ichimoku community. Uh, that is actually the uh, the three theories of Ichimoku, a wave and time and price theory book, and writing it, and also that will be available within the Ichimoku community in this September. But uh, that explanation also that book should be very simple, so that you can you can apply. You can not only understand the concept of it, but also you can be able to apply it because it's simple. If it's complex, then it's also uh, difficult to apply, right? Because uh, because it's not really universalized. But if it's simple, then it's going to be more closer to the truth, I believe. And uh, I think uh, it's going to be more uh, efficient, effective to any traders. So just like Ichimoku, uh, money management strategy is also simple for me. I just calculate the correct loss sizing according to the pips to the stop loss and I just put the stop loss that way and I, I put the uh, the correct loss sizing every time I take trace so and I have my own method of uh, how to trail the profit and also I think this is another unique part of myself but the uh, I never put the target I never put the target but I only um, take profit whenever there is no trend in the market. So that's something uh, I think that's something unique for myself. But uh, it's been working for me ever since I became a profitable trader, and that's why it's becoming my method here. So uh, yeah, so I, I look at the risk reward ratio and I look at the drawdowns, but I don't really look at the winning rate. And that's because I was focusing on the win winning rate mostly in the first two years and I failed. And I failed. I was looking for like 80% or 70% of a winning rate when I was scalping or day trade. Then I failed. And that's why. I decided not to look at the winning rate anymore from the third year, and then I became I became more prof profitable by focusing on the uh, yeah the risk reward and also the drawdowns. Yeah, so uh, it's yeah that's my that's how I developed my own strategy uh, based on these numbers here. So, to be honest, to be honest, um, I never know how much I will be winning, how much I will be losing after the month. So this month, in the month of July, or actually in the month of June, for example, I only took 14 trades. I only took 14 trades, and uh, yeah, the uh, the gain was still positive. I think uh, the winning rate was only 35% winning rate. On, on the month of June, and that's because I I cut losses as soon as possible, and I I exit with break even many times. But the ones that are breaking uh, the recent high or low, up or downwards, I just keep holding that position, right? I just keep trading the position and just keep holding it, so that uh, eventually the risk to reward ratio uh, as a whole, right? Not only one single trade, but as a whole becomes positive, like a 1 to 5, 1 to 6, a risk to reward ratio as a whole uh, among these uh, 14 trades, and then uh, I can still run profits by the end of the month. And uh, yeah, so yeah, what I was gonna say is that the uh, I never know uh, whether I will be ending up with uh, losses or wins, but fortunately, I never lose every month or every year I never lose after this uh, 2015 so yeah I think that it's it's been tested by the time so I th I'm sure this is going to be this is going to be universal for uh, for uh, within myself 
and that's something that I'm trying to teach uh, to uh, to 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 the traders who wants to become a independent and uh, full-time trader. Yeah, yeah. So that's a little bit of uh, talk about myself on this profile. <laughs> yep. Okay, so let me come back to some of the comments here. Alright, alright. Alright, hi Gabriel, thank you for joining. Good to see you and uh have to go trekking. Okay, have a have fun. Have fun with trekking. Uh Danish. <laughs> Stay gold. See you next week. Alright. Are you increase, increasing your lot sizing as your account grows? Yes, I do. I let the compound interesting work for me. So as I grow the profit, as I grow my account within the month, I increase the lot sizing. But still, I take 2% risk at most. Or less than 2% risk at most. It's my strategy. But if, if my account goes down, then I decrease the lot sizing. Please release a video on money management. I uh, will help everyone who are newbie. Sure, sure, I will. I will. I have a playlist also about the money management. So if you haven't seen that yet, uh, you can come to the page again. You can come to this uh, my website and you scroll down and there is a uh, where is it? The money management playlist here. So yeah, you can click on this banner here and you can see the whole playlist of the managing management when you click on this one there will be a page like this so and there is a whole video about money management here you have increased in your account by compound effect uh yes yes i do yep and because uh every month i take trades with uh uh, ten thousand dollars account, I know. Ten hundred thousand dollars account. Sorry, hundred thousand dollars account. I take trace, but still I increase it. I increase the balance, account balance every every month, and that's why my my profit grows over time. So by the end of the year, uh, I will be taking trace with, uh, for example, like a uh, two hundred two hundred thousand dollars account. So, so that I can go for a relatively bigger lot sizing with the same risk per trade. You doubled and quadrupled your accounts from 2014 to 2018. Not so much change in 2019. What happened? Uh, yet in the in the year of 2019 was quite rough for me. I wasn't really actively taking trades, and also, um, yeah. Hold on. Let me pull up the uh, the profile. Yeah, that was a slight, slight increase on this uh, net profit over the year. So, yeah, I wasn't really actively taking trades, and also uh, I wasn't able to capture trends in, in the in the year of uh, 2019. So that was a lesson for me. That was a lesson. So uh, that's why I I'm shifting my own way to take trades this this year. I was mainly looking at the daily chart and the 4-hour chart to capture trends in in the year of uh, 2016 until 2018 and it worked it worked on the daily chart but in the year of 2019 it didn't really work that much so that's why i didn't grow the profit that much but uh so this year i started to look at the 1-hour chart and follow the trend in 1-hour chart and becoming a intraday trader and then my profit grows that way. So I don't really look at the daily chart or 4-hour chart uh, recently um, because I don't see a decent up or down trend on these bigger time frames. So that's a lesson for me right now. So you started uh, using Ichimoku in 2015 to limit your losses. Uh, did you use it before that but changed up your strategy to limit your losses in 2015. Yeah, so I started to use Ichimoku seriously 
seriously in 2015 and I used Ichimoku in a way to grasp the whole picture of the uh, particular currency pair in, in a bigger time frame. But the way I take trades are still with uh, different tools. Like I, I do it right now. Um, I use other like stochastics or Bollinger Bands or other tools and indicators to capture the trading edges. <clears throat> but to capture the whole picture, uh, Ichimoku works very good. And I found it on the 2015. And that's why I started to seriously study Ichimoku Kinkohyo through these original books. What's your biggest profit per month in your career? Um, I think uh, the biggest profit is the uh, in in the uh, in the year of uh, 2018. Yeah, in in the year of 2018, I think it was uh, in October. Yeah, that was the biggest profit uh, per month in the in the month of October 2018. Can we expect to complete Ichimoku course on this channel? Um, I keep talking about more deeper level of Ichimoku in the Ichimoku community here. So in this YouTube public live, I keep talking about Ichimoku, but the way I look at the chart and also the way I explain through the Ichimoku will be limited because the time is limited here on this public lives. Um, so if you want to, and that's why I created this Ichimoku community. And that's why I wrote the book about Ichimoku essence on this that's, it, that's available in the in this community because uh, I cannot talk everything about Ichimoku on the public live because I want to talk about different things. I want to talk about mental management and also money management will be a topic on this public lives and also I will give my analysis based on other tools and indicators that I use. But if you want to purely understand Ichimoku only then th this community will be the one for you. Yeah, actually this community was created by the request from traders also. I never expected that Ichimoku will be uh, Ichimoku will be catching so many attention from uh, traders around the world. So yeah, that's why I created this one. To help uh, everyone to understand Ichimoku correctly. Yep, yep. You're welcome, uh, Lakshman. You're welcome. All right. You are the example of anyone in the world can make money by working smart. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, uh, you have to improve yourself, right? Whenever you do, whatever you do, you have to keep improving yourself, and that's the key. That's the key for anything to become successful, and it's also the case in this forex market also. So I changed myself over the over the years. I changed myself, and still, I am evolving myself. I'm adapting to the changing market every day. So I know that uh, the one, you know, a, a type of analysis doesn't work at some point. It works at some point, but it doesn't work at some point. So when it starts not working, you have to change your mindset. But still, you have to be able to apply it in changing market, right? And that's very important, I think. Well, actually, that's what Gochi Hosoda says, and that's something that I learned from him also. He says it on this Ichimoku original book. Yeah, yeah, so uh, never-ending improvement is very important, right? Like Toyota says um, also that the uh, Kaizen is also important. You have, to, you have to Kaizen yourself every time, every day. Before ending this video, let me introduce one of the words from Goichi Hosoda, the original creator of Ichimoku Kinkohyo, that I think is profound. He says, It's extremely difficult to capture the beginning of a trend and we shouldn't try to capture it. When you see the market afterwards, you might think like, if I were able to place a buy at the lowest level, I could have gotten this much profit, so how can I capture the very bottom next time, or very top next time? After you see a chart, you can easily think of the best possible scenario, but in a real moving market, that's not the case. As I say often at times on my lives and videos, imagine the trend as a fish and only eat the body part, you know, 
and forget about the head and tail because the body part is where the most delicious part, where the juice is. So don't try to capture the beginning of the trend, but instead try to capture whether the market is, is on the trend or not because that's where you can keep running the profit the most and also that's where you can be time efficient on your trades. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I do the next live or upload a new video. Wishing you a great trade success and see you on the next live or video. Stay gold. またね。